Welcome back, guys. It is almost Canada Day, so we are taking some Canadian whiskey and we are going to make a maple bacon liqueur. Doesn't that sound amazing? We are then going to make three awesome cocktails with said liqueur. So, we need some bacon. So what we're going to do is we're going to bacon fat wash some whiskey, which basically means that we add some bacon grease, let it solidify, let it mix with the whiskey, and then we filter the fat out and we infuse a lot of flavor. So crisp up some bacon, fry up some bacon in a pan, and then reserve the bacon fat because we're going to need that. And don't forget to eat that bacon. It's awesome. It's bacon. All right, so this is Lot 40, a fantastic Canadian rye. We've got the regular Lot 40 and the Dark Oak Lot 40. So we're going to utilize both of those today, one for the liqueur and the other for the cocktails. So the first thing we need to do is get one and a half cups of our rye whiskey. Yes, I know, that's a lot of whiskey. But don't worry, we're gonna make it even better. We're adding bacon to it. Okay, so take your one and a half cups and add that to a mason jar. Got some weird flickering action going with the lights. To that, we've got our bacon grease. Now, if it if it's solidified, just stick it in the microwave for a few, few seconds. Make sure it is liquid. And pour an ounce and a half of your bacon grease, bacon fat, into the mason jar. Okay, so we're just gonna shake that a little bit. We're gonna let it sit for a couple hours at room temperature. I shaked it occasionally. I don't know if you need to do that. Once that's it, we popped it in the freezer for about six hours or so. Some say 12 hours. I don't think you need to go that long, but it's up to you. And then you guys know the drill. We have a bottle, we've got a filter and a funnel, and we're just gonna pour that all in. So all that fat will stay behind and all the flavored whiskey will drip through into the bottle. Okay, next up we have some Canadian maple syrup. Ooh, that's good stuff. We're gonna add half a cup of maple syrup to our bottle, to our whiskey mix. And then you can adjust it. If you're not reaching the bottle at the top, you just adjust the whiskey, adjust the maple syrup, and get it to the, the sweetness you like. And that's it. We've got amazing Canadian whiskey. We've got bacon. We've got maple syrup. We've got an amazing maple bacon liqueur. Obviously, we slap on a sexy label with Odin. And now it's ready to use, and you can enjoy this stuff on its own. It's amazing on its own. Rocks glass, a couple ice cubes, a couple ounces of maple bacon liqueur, and just give it a quick stir, and you've got an amazing drink right there. But we're not going to stop there. We've got cocktails to make. So before we do that, we need to work on our garnish. So we're going to make some candied bacon. So lay down some strips of bacon. We're then going to sprinkle some brown sugar on there, some black pepper, and stick that in an oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. Look at that. When it cools, the sugar will kind of harden and you'll have an amazing candied bacon. Odin. That's it. Ah, who's a good boy? All right, let's make some cocktails. We're gonna make a smoky bacon old fashioned. Start with a nice big clear block of ice. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do one and a half ounces of our maple bacon liqueur. There we go. Carefully pour that over our ice. I just love that ice cube. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, to that we're adding an ounce and a half equal measures of our Lot 40 Dark Oak. So this is gonna give us a richer, darker rye flavor. It's a really good whiskey. All right, we need some bitters on here. Now I've got a few bitters from Kinsip Distilleries, another Canadian uh, distillery. And they make amazing bitters. And this one here is Maple Walnut. So we're gonna do two dashes of that. We also have Whiskey Smoke Bitters. We're gonna do two dashes of that as well. The, looks like more than more than two, but uh, those little bottles don't dash very well. 
All right, that's it. Let's give it a stir. Ooh, slow motion stir. I love that ice cube. Oh okay, yeah, good 20 seconds of stirring. For garnish, we're gonna give it a, an, an orange peel, traditional old fashioned garnish, rub the rim, express the oils and stick it back there. But we're also gonna stick a little piece of our candied bacon because these are bacon drinks. All right, the maple gives it sweetness, the richness of the rye, the bacon flavor lingers on there. An amazing drink. Next up, the Canadian breakfast, which is a take on a sour. So we're starting the same way with an ounce and a half of our maple bacon liqueur. All right, after that, we're gonna follow that up once again with the Lot 40 Dark Oak. We're doing one ounce this time. Excellent. I love that whiskey. All right, after that, this is a sour. So we're gonna do an ounce of lemon juice. After that, we're gonna adjust the sweetness with a quarter ounce of maple syrup. And why not, we're trying to get, this is called the Canadian breakfast. Let's get a couple of dashes of coffee bitters. Just so we can say we got coffee in here. I mean, it's called the Canadian breakfast. We got maple syrup, we got bacon, we got coffee. Hey, hey, we even got an egg. <laughs> One egg white. If you absolutely want to, you can use aquafaba or you can just omit the egg altogether. All right, flippy move. We're gonna do a dry shake. We're just emulsifying the egg with all the other ingredients. After that, we're gonna add some ice and then do a wet shake. All right, so add a few cubes of ice. Oh, no, that's enough. Get the tin back on top, give it a good seal, and this is our wet shake. Now we're just chilling and continuing to emulsify and create a nice foam. Excellent, we're serving this up, so we're gonna grab a nice cocktail glass. You can do a Nick and Nora, a coupe, you can even do a rocks glass with a, with a big ice chunk if you wanted to. Look how frothy that is. Looking good. And just like before, we will garnish with a nice piece of candied bacon. And there it is, the Canadian breakfast, an amazing bacon flavored sour. It's awesome. Let's finish it up with a maple bacon Caesar. So a Caesar is a Canadian staple. It's basically a Bloody Mary made with Clamato juice, which is tomato juice with clam broth. And I know that sounds gross, but it actually, it just tastes like tomato juice with a nice kind of salty brininess to it. It's really good for these style drinks. So we have a Collins glass, we added a spice rim, and now we're adding some ice cubes. And then we're gonna go in just like before with an ounce and a half of our maple bacon liqueur. Look at that, look at a cascade on the ice, love it. Okay, we're then gonna add half an ounce of our Canadian, um, of our Lot 40 Dark Oak. Did I say half an ounce? Uh, screw it, full ounce. Come on, full ounce, yeah, there we go. All right, after that, we're gonna do a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce probably butcher the pronunciation like everyone does. And about four dashes of hot sauce, uh, traditionally Tabasco. I actually forgot how sm horribly these things dash, so that's like 20 dashes, but as much hot sauce as you want. I like mine to have a good spiciness to it. And here is our Clamato juice. Nope, oh, let's give it a good shake first. Always shake these things. There's a lot of residue that builds up at the bottom. There we go, we're just topping off. A lot of people will actually measure it out. I just top it off. I don't really care where it got. 
So before we top it, we're going to garnish because I don't want it overflowing. So of course, we're gonna do a straw, first of all. And then our large piece of candied bacon. Uh, celery is traditional, but I'm not a huge fan. I'll do a pickled bean, some olives, a lime wedge, which you can take the lime wedge and we didn't add any lime juice, but you can squirt that lime into it. I don't really do that. I don't really need the lime juice. All right, and we're gonna top off with more Clamato. And there it is, your maple bacon Caesar. It's salty, it's sweet, bacon flavor, the perfect marriage of sweet and savory, an amazing cocktail, all three of these, amazing. If I had to choose one favorite, it'd probably be the sour. Yeah, the Canadian breakfast is uh, such a good, I, I love whiskey sours, but with the added level of bacon and maple syrup, it's just so good. All of these are good. The old fashioned, sweet, and then savory from the bacon and the aroma of the bacon. Oh my God, so good. And of course the Caesar. What's, can't say anything bad about a Caesar. They're, they're amazing. So guys, uh, to my Canadian friends, happy Canada Day. And to everyone else, I hope you give this a try. Make it with any whiskey you may have and make your own maple bacon liqueur. We'll see you next time. Cheers.